Hello Aquarius, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. Okay, so today we're going to tap into the energy of the person that hurt you, okay? We're going to see exactly what it is that that person wants you to know. We're also going to pull some messages in regards to that person's current feelings in regards to you, okay? So cross watchers, do keep in mind that the energies can be reversed, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. Also, make sure that you subscribe to the Mystic Goddess channel. If you haven't subscribed as of yet, I'd love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. And I also want to thank each and every one of you guys that's been donating to our channel. I appreciate you so much and I want to thank you from the bottom to the top of my heart, okay? All right, so Aquarius, I've med meditated over your energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, the overall energy in regards to what your person that hurt you wants you to know is guilt, okay? So they're definitely feeling guilty about something. We also have temperance. And we have the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Okay. Hmm. All right. So Aquarius, in regards to your person, they're feeling guilty about something. And I really feel as though they're feeling guilty that the situation that they had with you or the relationship that they had with you was not balanced. Okay. Um, whoever this person was or whoever this person is, I feel as though they feel a lot, a lot deeper for you than they let you know. Okay. I feel as though it was an unequal connection. I feel as though you really balanced this person, but this person didn't balance you. And also whoever you're dealing with, they know that they're wrong. Okay. They did a lot of messed up things. Whoever this person is, they had you thinking that they were doing one thing when they were really doing something else, okay? And this person has a way of making it seem like they're this angel, like they're doing everything they're supposed to be doing, okay? No, nothing wrong going on here. I'm just doing what I'm supposed to do. But really, okay, they have this other side to them where there's a lot of toxicity. There's a lot of hopelessness. They, this is, this person is split. They have two different, it's almost like they lead a double life, but we're going to get further into that. So your person is acknowledging the grass wasn't greener on the other side. So some of them may have dipped and dabbled in something they didn't have any business and they got bit in the butt. Okay. All right. So we'll dig a little further into that. So we have guilt here. So let's look a little further and so what this is about. Okay, so we have quest. We also have perception. Service. Discovery. Acceptance. Gossip. And security. And we have perfection. At the bottom of the deck, we have complacency, okay? So, with this overall energy here, I feel as though this person wanted to keep you complacent. Um, this person doesn't want you going anywhere. Regardless of how things seem, They, this is someone, they didn't want anyone else to have you. They don't want anyone else to have you. I feel as though for a lot of you, this person may have made it seem as though they had more than they really had. Okay, for, for some of you, you may have been sold a dream. Okay. Now with quest feeling with quest being here, okay, this has been going on a while. Okay. Whatever this person took you through, it's been going on for a while. I feel as though you've dealt with a lot when it comes to this person, but you always try to keep an open mind, even though there were red flags, you always try to give this person benefit of doubt, okay? Now, this person wants you to know that they're acknowledging that they've taken too long to get right, okay? They're acknowledging they took you on a quest. They took you on an unnecessary long-ass journey, okay? They're recognizing that. And I feel as though for a lot of you, you really helped this person, 
Okay. You help them a lot. Like, I feel like some of you may have even thought that this person was just using you. Okay. Whether it was in regards to helping them financially or um, helping them in some way, shape or form, emotionally, maybe even helping them by just speaking life into them. OK, but you were there for them and they weren't there for you. OK, so this person is starting to discover something about themselves. OK, they're starting to discover that, hey, maybe I am wrong now with the energy here, because this person is insecure. I feel as though they never and we have this complacency here as well. I feel as though they never admit it. But they're starting to discover that they're messed up, that they have some messed up ways about themselves. I also feel as though for a lot of you, you discovered self, self love. OK, you discovered love within yourself. You guys are focused on yourself. OK, and spirit is here right with you. God is with you every step of the way. OK, now with acceptance here, I feel as though you guys accepted a lot when it came to this person. I feel as though you put up with a lot, even though um, this person did a lot of wrong things. I feel as though a lot of you, I don't want to say you accepted it, but you may have um, dealt with it. You know, you just dealt with it. Even though you didn't like it, you just adept, you you dealt with it. And you accepted this person for who they were. Like, you didn't want them to be someone else that they weren't. You wanted them for them. You accepted this person how they were. And a lot of you were willing to, willing to let this person take the time to get where they needed to be. And you were there. But you've grown tired. Okay. I also feel as though whoever this person is, they talk too much. Okay. Some of you are dealing with someone, they tell their business, they tell your business, they told people what were going what was going on in the relationship. There was just too many people involved. Okay. I also feel as though for some of you, this person may have been gossiping or may have been telling people things to try to change their perception of you. OK, this person also would tell you things to try to change your perception of them. OK, they would even try to make up excuses as to why it was taking them so long. I feel as though it was just a hamster. Like this was just a repetitive cycle. Like it was just a lot of dead end roads with this person. It was just a dead end road. With insecurity here. OK, Whoever you're dealing with, I feel as though um, this person may have sparked some insecurities within you. And I feel as though they did it purposely. Okay. Whoever you're dealing with, this person has some insecurities within themselves. I feel like they don't love themselves like they should. Deep down, they don't love themselves. And so this person would do devil thing, devilish things or toxic things on purpose to trigger you. OK, but a lot of you became guarded, even though you still for some of you still have love for this person. OK, you still have some love for them. But this person poked holes into your heart. They just kept poking and poking and poking, doing stuff wrong over and over and over again to the point where you just decided to guard your heart. OK. We also have perfection here. So whoever you're dealing with I, or whoever this person is that hurt you, I feel as though this person tried to make you think they were perfect. Okay, this is someone that walks around like their stuff don't stink. Okay, like they don't like to admit their wrongdoings. They try to make themselves seem um, better than what they are. Like they would quickly point out your imperfections to cause insecurities. But when it came to them, they tried to come off as baby Jesus or something like like they were perfect. When in reality, they have all type of problems. OK, well, if you're perfect, why you feel guilty? Why do you feel guilty? OK, so I mean, it, it, this doesn't make any sense. If they are perfect, why do they feel guilty? OK, this person just wanted they didn't want you to go anywhere. OK, they sold. this is someone that sold you a dream. They sold you a dream. For some of you, you may have fell for for a little while, but I feel as though you started to see things weren't going to go anywhere. Okay. Now, when it comes to this person, I feel as though as of now, 
or maybe in the near future, this person's going to need some type of help. Okay. They may come to you for help. Okay. Um, this person, they're, they're, they're going to be in need of help. But at the same time, I feel as though this person is starting to discover that you were perfect for them. Even though they try to cause insecurities in you, um, they're realizing that you're perfect for them. You, you were the perfect person. Okay. For a lot of you, they try to cause insecurities in you by talking to other people. They will be talking to other people. They like talking to people. Okay. Maybe talking to people of the opposite sex, dealing with people of the opposite sex. Okay. And that will spark insecurities in you. But at the same time, those same people that they were talking to, that they were dealing with, especially if they put you in third party situations, they, they, the other people they were dealing with caused insecurities in them. Okay. And then that's when they started to realize, hey, damn, maybe Aquarius is perfect. Maybe Aquarius is perfect for me. You know, maybe they are the perfect person for me. Okay, they discovered that. So you you opened up something in this person where they're starting to do a little bit of inner work. They're not completely there yet, but they started. Okay, I feel as though for some of you, this person is at the lowest of their low. Uh, they're at the lowest of the low. Okay. Oh, so, hmm. but yeah, they're sitting over here feeling guilty. Some of them are drinking or indulging or overindulging in um, things to kind of stimulate their mind or to alter their reality when, you know, I mean, it is what it is. They need to do some inner work. This person needs healing. They need some balance in their life because right now I feel as though things... For some of you, your person is just, they're not balanced. And you gave that person balance. Okay. So let's go ahead and tap into this temperance energy here. Okay. So we have the High Priestess. The Ace of Swords. The Three of Cups. The Five of Wands. The Two of Pentacles, the Death card, the Queen of Wands, hmm. and the Knight of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords. Okay, so I feel as though for a lot of you, okay, Whoever this person is, you've started to view them differently, okay? You're no longer, like, you're seeing this person for who they are. Like, you're no longer in a fantasy world when it comes to this person, like you may have been initially. I feel as though you, you're starting to see things for what they are, okay? I feel as though you guys are no longer wearing your heart on your sleeve. You're like, okay, it is what it is. I don't have time for this. The only cups we have here is the three of cups. So I already know that your emotions for this person is running on E, okay? I'm not saying you don't care for them, but a person can do you wrong so much to the point where you start to really dislike their ways. And once you start doing that, you know, the mind leaves first and, and soon after the mind leaves, the, the body follows. Or once the heart leaves, the, the mind, the, the body slowly follows. I think that's the same. You guys get what I'm saying. Okay. Like your heart, this person, they did too much. Okay. That's why they're over here feeling guilty. But regardless, this person is saying that they want a relationship with you. Okay. Um, this, they want a relationship. They want a new start. Okay. A lot of you may have found out about a third party. Okay. You may have found out this person had gotten together with someone else. Regardless, this person does want to get together with you. Okay. Okay. I also feel as though um, with this three of cups right next to the five of wands, I do feel as though there was competition here. Like this person was dealing with other people. That's why they're saying that the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Also, whoever this third party is, they may be in some type of conflict with this third party. Okay. So when it comes to having a relationship with you, this person, 
they're trying to decide the best approach. Okay. They're trying to decide the best approach. The approach. This is someone I told you guys that they're off balance. Okay. They're not completely balanced, even in their finances. I feel as though their finances are very up and down. Um, this person is dealing with a lot, but we have this queen of wands here and that's not you Aquarius. Okay. So I feel as though whoever your person is, they may have ended things with this third party. I feel as though it was a sexual connection. I don't even feel as though there was any love involved in it. Okay. It was more something sexual or someone that they were attracted to. It may have even been a friend for some of you. Like they may have been dealing with um, one of their friends, someone that they claim was a friend, but they really weren't. Um, you know, for just a few of you, it may have even been your friend. You know, that's not for everybody. So please don't take that if it doesn't resonate for you. You'll know, you know your life, right? Okay, so... I do see that there's been conflict with this person, okay? But the thing about it is this person is coming back around. They're coming back. They're coming back to you because they don't want you to go anywhere, okay? I feel as though um, whoever this is, this person sees that you're on your, you're on your shit, okay? You're on it. I feel as though they view you as someone very attractive. Um, also, this person is very... Um, they're very stimulated or very attracted to you sexually. I do feel that. But when it comes to this person, they're starting to see some type of truth in regards to this third party they were dealing with. That's why they're saying that the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Okay. So they started something up with this third party. And I feel as though this third party was nothing but drama. They're sick of it. So now they're deciding to end things, to end things. With this third party, with this other female or this other male, okay? And then they're going to come rushing back toward you, okay? <sighs> this person, they're going to, um, they want to pursue you aggressively. But I feel as though there's so much guilt here, they hold themselves back from it, okay? Um, they try to hold themselves back, but I see them coming back around, and for a lot of you, you may even energetically feel that this person is going to come back. Okay. But yeah, a lot of you, you're just tired. Okay. You're tired. You're ready for things to be completely done with this person. For others of you, you're waiting on this person to get it right. But they have to, to change their ways. Okay. Because right now, this person needs some type of healing. And I don't even think it has anything to do with you. Okay. But they do feel wrong for how they've been treating you. Okay, because you're over here doing what you're supposed to do. And then they're in, you know, somewhere else, um, you know, in, in devil energy, being toxic. Okay, so yes, this person does want to work things out with you, Aquarius. This person wants to get together with you. They want to work on things. See, they want to work. They want to work on things. Um, now, for some of you, your person may be... Um, Focusing on work to try to keep their mind off of you. But regardless, they do want to work on things with you. Okay. But at the same time, I feel as though this person, they're just not giving you, they would, they weren't giving you what you wanted. Okay. They weren't giving you what you deserve. I feel as though a lot of you have even grown bored with this person because they put you through so much. Okay. This is someone that, um, they did a lot. They did a lot. And it was always something with them, okay? Some of you, this person may have made you feel as though you weren't good enough for them or something of that nature. But it was always something when it came to this person. Like, you don't trust them, okay? But expect communication or they want to communicate with you at least, okay? This person wants things to move forward between the two of you. For a lot of you, expect to hear from them, okay? Now, in regards to this person... I feel like when they do come back around, I feel like you're not going to take the bait. Like now for some of you, you may consider it, but I just don't see you acting on it very quickly. Okay. In regards to having a relationship. Okay. I just don't see you acting on it quickly. This person is starting to realize that, um, or they think that you're meant for them. They see this as a divine connection, like heaven sent heaven sent 
But the thing about it is this person, they waited so long to give you what you deserve. Now you're going to have them waiting when they come back around. So a lot of you, you're not going to decide anything got anything right away. For a lot of you, you may feel as though that this person is hiding some secrets in regards to like another connection or something of that nature. So you're not going to move quickly. OK, you're, you're not going to move on it as quickly because there's still some things that you I feel as though you know that there are some some things going on behind the scenes and it's mainly third party. So I'm letting you know that now. OK, so a lot of you may decide to be single. You may decide to be single from this person. And I'm going to let you know that being single from them, you're going to get a lot of abundance. OK. You're going to get a lot of abundance. For others of you, once you become single from this person, you're going to meet the man or the woman of your dreams. Okay? So, yeah. I see this person coming toward you, but I see you guys are going to be holding back. Okay? I don't see... I don't... You're going to be holding back from them. For some of you, you may even be, be dealing with a twin flame, but they're going to want to come into harmony with you. Okay, but a lot of you, you're gonna, you're, you're just tired. You may drop it, okay? Because this person has burdened you a lot, especially when it comes to different connections that they were dipping and dabbling in. See, this is my the grass wasn't greener on the other side card as well in the tarot. Okay, they, they, this, this is the type of person that goes for anything shiny. They go for things that look good, but then when they dip and dabble in it, then the snakes and dragons and all the crazy stuff comes out. OK, so now they're starting to see that, damn, like I messed up these people, these options. They're not what I thought they were. OK, so, yeah, this person's going to want a new start. And some of you guys are going to choose to walk away. OK, now I will tell you again, once you walk away from this person, you're going to meet the man or the woman of your of your dreams. OK, and it's destiny. So this was actually destined to happen. Also, we have the emperor and we have the empress here. Like I told you, some of you, this may be a twin flame. Okay, but regardless, this was meant to happen. It's meant for you to walk away from this person so that they can do the work. OK, so at some point, this person is going to want a new opportunity with you. OK, because they're not going to want to let you go. They're still holding on to you. This person is regretting being sneaky, being a player, breaking your heart. But I see you guys looking toward the future. OK, and guess what? You're going to get wish fulfillment. Things are going to take off for you. So expect that. OK, expect it. Ooh. Honey, I could have read this person the filth. I could have read them for a pure nothing. <laughs> I could have read this for I, I have to because hey, we be on this video a while because I could okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. I digress. Okay. So, um, Aquarius, let's go ahead and get some messages in regards to your person because they're saying that the grass wasn't greener on the other side. We know that. The other person they were dealing with, that third party didn't do never brain drama, okay? So, let's see what else they want you to know, okay? So, Spirit, give me some messages in regards to the person that hurt Aquarius. What do they want Aquarius to know, Spirit? What does this person want Aquarius to know? Thank you. Maybe we're just too different, okay? See, I told you, you're doing what you're supposed to do, and then here they are over there, you know, just doing toxic things okay you're in the light they're in the dark so yeah the two of you are very different and they're starting to realize that this person is also starting to realize that you're too good for them okay give me more spirit i heard out of your league so i don't know they they this person starting to realize that you're out of their league you feel like home to me. Okay, so this is my twin flame card. Okay, there's no place like home, right? Okay, there's no place like home. So this person is letting you know that regardless of anyone they've connected with, they don't have the same connection with them that they had with you. They'll never meet another person like you because there's no place like home. Okay, that's why they're acknowledging that the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Give me more spirit. What else does this, this person on Aquarius to know? Thank you. We also have, I've never forgotten you, even though you think I have, okay? I told you guys, this is someone that gives you only superficial emotions when really they, they love you deeply, 
Okay. They love you deeply, but you poured em emotions into this person and they didn't pour any back out into you. Okay. So it was one sided. But, but best believe this person has not forgotten you. They think about you a lot. And for some of you, um, this person watches you. I heard online, but they watch you. Okay. We also have, I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you. I'm sorry too, because you missed out. You messed up because Aquarius is about to come into a lot of abundance. So they're admitting that they didn't do right by you. Okay. Let's see what else came out here. Is it possible to forgive and forget? See, that's that energy I don't like because that lets me know that this is someone that likes to sweep things under the rug. They don't like to take responsibilities for the thing. They don't like to take responsibility for the things that they do. Okay. This is someone that will do dirt and then let's just forget about it. They don't even want to talk about it. If you were to bring it up, they don't want to hear it. They would probably get upset. Okay. But at the same time, Aquarius, the thing about it is it doesn't matter what a person says. OK, it doesn't matter. You got to go by their actions because a person will tell you anything. But go by those actions because I promise you, you won't be led wrong. OK, so they're saying, is it possible to forgive and forget? So they just want to sweep this on the rug and not fix things. It's not going to work that way. What else, spirit? What else is this person? Thank you. Would you reject me? So this is someone they're scared of rejection. They're scared of being rejected by you. Okay. So they want you to forgive them. They want you to forget about what happened and they want you to accept them with open arms. I told you they're coming back, but the thing about it is this person isn't going to come back until they know that you are open to them. But when they do come back, it's going to be when you least suspect it with that Knight of Swords energy here. And they're going to come back strong. Okay. Because and maybe even controlling in a controlling way. Let's see what else. Your beauty still moves me. So this person feels as though you're beautiful inside and out. And we also have, it's easier to just stay away right now. See, I told you, this is someone that doesn't like to accept responsibility. Okay, so instead of just facing what they did, you know, because with me, I know this is y'all, you know, this is your reading, Aquarius. But real quick, let me just say this. When it comes to me, okay, if you would just give me the truth, you know, just give me the truth. And that way we could work past things. We can move on. Okay. But, you know, if, if I don't have the truth, it's going to make my mind wander. Okay. So this is someone that's saying it's just easier to stay away right now. Okay. They would rather just stay away from you, love you from a distance. You know, they're saying you feel like home to me. They showed us in the in the other spread that they were coming back, okay? But at the same time, oh, it's just easier to stay away right now because they don't want to do the work. They don't want to, they're not completely change, um, ready to change it, even though they're starting to see that they're wrong, but they're not willing to admit it. Like they wear a mask. We saw perfection before. This is someone that wants you to think that they do everything right when in reality they're all they're they're all messed up. I don't like it. Look at this <laughs> at the bottom of that. We will be together again. Oh <laughs> Aquarius. Like wow. So they're saying it's just easier to stay away right now, but um we we will be together again soon. So um just wait on me. Really? Wait. Say what? Come again? Wait on you. Really? This. I just. I just. I can't. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and end the reading. We're going to end the reading right here. Aquarius. Um, This person does love you. They do care about you. They want you back. This person sees you as wish fulfillment. This person might be even praying that things work out between the two of you. It was meant for you to come into connection with this person. Um, they feel guilty for how they treated you, but this person has work to do. Okay. Um, they're a mess. I, I will say that much. All right. So Aquarius, that is your reading. And also before I end it, 555 five, five is here. Okay. So 
I'm not going to get too far into it, but with the angel number 555, it signals major changes for the better. So there's going to be some major changes. So I really feel as though this person is going through some type of major change that has been brought about by destiny. And a lot of it has to do with you cutting this person out or moving in another direction when it comes to them. So if you walked away from this person, it's going to, if you walk away completely, it's going to trigger some type of change in them, a major change. And it's long overdue. OK, so Aquarius, that is your reading. If you guys resonated with this, please comment and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to hit that notifications bell so that you will be notified when I post messages from spirit to you. I love each and one of each and every one of you guys so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.